Hey there and welcome back to Text Connect and in this video we'll be looking at the formula to find the shuttle velocity and its very simple derivation. So we'll go ahead conceptually and understand the notations used in this super easy formula. So starting with p that is the loom speed in picks per minute. That means the number of picks inserted by the shuttle in 1 minute or the number of rotations of crankshaft in 1 minute. Now we should know that for one rotation of crankshaft in a loom, it is responsible for one pick insertion. Coming down to the next one, that is R, the width of the warp in the reed or the reed width. This is also the distance the shuttle has to cover to insert one pick. Have a look at the warps in the reed in the diagram to have a clear idea. So now we know P and R. Moving further, V, which is the average shuttle velocity which we have to find out. L, which is the effective length of the shuttle, because shuttle ki bhi ek apni certain length hogi, isn't it? Now coming down to the last two notations, theta and t, where theta is the degrees of crankshaft rotation, and t is the time required for the shuttle to pass through the shell. All right, so coming down to the derivation and the relation. Now the distance covered by the shuttle in t seconds will be r plus l. How? We are talking about the distance that is covered by the shuttle tip. So it will be R, that is the warp width in the reed, plus also some certain shuttle length, right? Because the shuttle has to come out of the shed to complete one pick. Shuttle ko apne shed se completely bahar aana hoga to complete one successful pick. Have a look at the diagram below. So by this, we come to know that the distance covered by the shuttle in T seconds will be R plus L, that is its effective length as well. Now we know that the velocity is equal to distance upon time. Using this, we can say that average velocity will be r plus l, that is distance covered by the shuttle upon time, or t equals r plus l upon v. Now let us keep it as our equation number one. Now listen carefully. Assume that p rotations of a crankshaft take place in one minute, that is in 60 seconds. We already saw this in the notations as p is the loom speed in picks per minute which is also the number of crankshaft rotations in a minute. So one rotation of crankshaft will take place in how many seconds? 60 upon p that is simple unitary method. Agar p rotations 60 seconds mein hote hai, to one rotation 60 upon p seconds mein hoga. Correct? Now one rotation means how many degrees? 360. Easy. So 360 degrees of rotation takes place in 60 upon p seconds. So one degree rotation will take place in how many seconds? Again that will be divided by 360. So it will be 60 upon p divided by 360. Simple unitary method. So after we solve it we get 1 upon 6p. So now one degree rotation hota hai 1 upon 6p seconds. Mein. So theta degree rotation kitne mein hoga? If 1 degree rotation takes place in 1 upon 6 p seconds, how much time would theta degree require? That will be theta multiplied by 1 upon 6 p, correct? Jitna nikana usse multiply kar diya. So, in terms of crankshaft rotation, the time required will be theta upon 6 p seconds. So this will be our equation number 2. Alright, I know this is a bit difficult to understand, pause the video play it again to understand this in a better way. Now coming down to the final step, equate both the equations of time, number 1 and number 2. So this will be r plus l upon v, that is our first equation, that will be equal to theta upon 6p, that is our second equation, which on further solving will give us v equals 6p r plus l upon theta. So this will be our shuttle velocity in terms of p, r, l and theta. Still confused? Don't worry, we'll solve a question. So here I have a question that has already been in gate examination 2018. So the question is, a shuttle loom having 1.75 meter reed width is running at 180 rpm. The shuttle enters and leaves the shed at 120 degrees and 240 degrees angular positions of crankshaft respectively. Now if the length of the shuttle is 0.25 meters, the mean velocity in meter per second of the shuttle within the shed is 
question mark we have to find the mean velocity so that's very simple just have a look so we have with us read width that is r 1.75 meters the length of the shuttle the effective length of the shuttle l that is 0.25 meter the loom speed that is p that is equal to 180 rpm or rotations per minute and theta that is 240 minus 120 that is 120 degrees that is the crankshaft has rotated from 120 to 240 during the pick insertion and we have to find is mean velocity v in meters per second so the formula is v equals 6p r plus l upon theta after we substitute the values 6 into 180 into 1.75 plus 0 0.25 divided by theta that is 120 we get velocity of the shuttle as 18 meters per second